Let's talk Sterling Dillashaw. People on the internet are crying about Dillashaw on his shoulder. To be honest, I'm not going to shed a tear for Dillashaw, a proven cheater, and now a proven dumbass. It's a dumbass move if you're that compromised to where, in your own words, your shoulder popped out of socket 20 times during training camp. And you're going in there against the champion who is the whole game plan is to wrestle your ass. That might not be the best idea. Injuries are a part of the sport. So don't try and use that as an excuse. I've been injured in almost every single one of my fights. Most fighters are. My coach used to always say, if you're going into that cage 100%, you probably didn't train to your fullest. Now, knowing all that, and you knew what his game plan was going to be, you still walked in there. Now, don't use it as an excuse to, oh, boy, I lost, so I deserve a rematch. No, boy. No, no, you don't whatsoever. You went in there. You got your ass kicked. I'll give you uh, props for being in there for, what was it, like seven minutes? With six of it, you basically had one arm. The fact that Sterling couldn't finish you in the first round doesn't really look that good on him. But... I wouldn't give you another shot right off the bat. You held up the division knowing you were injured. Somebody else could have gone in there and taken your slot while you're recovering, and then you could have came in there now. No, now you're at the back of the line, back of the top five line. 